Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where I am going over a question that we had from one of our community members here, which was how do I get the background on one of my strip images to keep the photo in place? Um, when she is uploading it, it's distorting it. And so I want to just really quick show you a couple of my favorite design tips and how you can get around that. If you have not yet already, please make sure that you go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when a new video drops because we are always bringing you more um, tips and tricks to be able to customize your Wix website and be able to make more leads and sales. Okay, so let's dive in and talk about what's actually happening here when you are uploading photos to the background section of a strip. So what's going on oftentimes, number one, the, the first thing that you want to check is to make sure that you are uploading a high quality photo. Sometimes if the resolution of the photo is not high enough, what's going to happen is it will either tile the image to be able to save the resolution, or if it does a stretch to fit and the image isn't high quality, then it's going to distort the image and make it look blurry and that's no good. If you don't have images of your own to use professionally, I do recommend just finding some in the Wix photo library. They have very many connected here in the media, um, inside of the media tab. And finding one of those images is, first of all, <laughs> gonna be able to help if you don't yet have any of your brand images. Second of all, when you are working with strips like this one, what it's doing, especially if you have any of the background effects turned on, um, is it's it's stretching that image out to fit the background of the strip. So in order to get around that, what you can do is if you wanted to, now this is optional, you could change the background to something more, I don't know, like sometimes what I'll do is I'll go in here and I will go to change column background and I will actually upload a video of some kind. So let's just say I wanted to do that. Um, let's go in here and let's just say I'm going to upload a video like this. And then what I'll do, okay, so that my image doesn't get distorted. What I would do then is now I would go in and add an image over the top of the strip. Okay, so that way, because the the image is going to, you know, blow up to fit whatever proportions of that strip are so oftentimes, and then especially if you have one of the background effects on on your strip, you're not going to be able to see the whole image, which is kind of a bummer. So what you can do is you can, sometimes it looks really nice to be able to just add a plain video to the background and then go in here and add in an image upload. So this is always like option number one. Let's pretend that we want to, let's just say that's how you wanted to solve this one. You could always go ahead, pick up that image and then attach it over the top of the strip so that, and I know my colors are all off here. I've been like doing different tutorials and messing with it. Don't worry, I would never publish the site when it looked like, <laughs> when it looked like all just like, like I just kind of hodgepodge it together here. This is not the jam. Um, but then what it would look like is let's go ahead and click on preview. Um, so this is one of the ways to keep the image size at its true proportion so that it's not getting stretched out. And it does make images, as you can see, when you're on a desktop and you use the specific design tactic, um, it does really just kind of add a little something extra to the photo behind it. Now, if I wanted to do something a little extra and fancy, you could always go into the design or the settings and you could add a frame or just a really light shadow to kind of give it some, you know, give it a little bit of depth and perception so it doesn't look so 2D. It makes it stand out a little bit more when you add some of these elements in. And then as you can see, it's very simple, but it's very eye-catching. I'm a really huge fan of implementing video into your website. So um, I always try to pull that in whenever I can. 
So that's something that you can do to be able to keep your strip image true to size without getting distorted when you're working with strips. The other option is always you could go ahead and let's say you hate video, you don't want to use it. You could always go in here and in the column or the column background, you could just turn the column background to neutral transparent, or you could just set it to white, whatever the background is of your page, you could 100% do that. And under the settings, you can just go like this. Or you could just say no background at all. And then it would obviously be transparent. So that is another way to attach an image to a strip background and keep the proportions true to size in an actual photo instead of trying to get it to match in there. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, by the way, if you're, you know, if you're going through your site design and you're like, oh, I don't know how to do this or this wasn't exactly explained and it's something that you would want us to cover more in depth or you just have an idea for a video or a topic that isn't covered, please feel free to let us know in the comments down below. We are checking those and it's very valuable feedback for the channel. So thank you so much for tuning in here today and being with us. We hope that you found value in this video. If you did, be sure to go ahead, click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when the next video drops because we will be bringing you more tips, tricks, and features here to help you take your Wix design skills to the next level. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.